What's up YouTube? This is Danny Drage with 10 more tips for Mirror 4. Number 1. Certain items for upgrading your character can be farmed in specific areas. Ying and Yang pills will help train your inner force. While Unihorn slices, flower oil, and century food are essential to grow your constitution, if you're farming reputation gear for your codex, the demon's essence can be dropped from monsters in the field and labyrinths while bosses in these areas will drop malice. Elite and Valley monsters will drop demon crystals and you can get ghost stones from those bosses. Number 2. Donate to your clan's warehouse every day for 3,000 extra clan coins. This also helps the clan stock the shop regularly. You can donate 10,000 copper, 5,000 dark steel, and 5,000 energy. Don't forget to collect your clan coins from your mailbox after doing so. Number 3. You can get more than 3 hours of vigor at a time. You'll get plenty of pills on your journey and even if you stack up 3 hours of vigor from farming, it isn't enough to get you through a whole night of AFK grinding to your next level. That's when you pop a few extra vigor pills to keep you going all night long. Warning: If vigor lasts for more than 4 hours, please consult your doctor. Number 4. Auto farm daily missions while sleeping. While the game says it limits you to 10 quests while auto farming, if you select 10 daily quests, you'll be able to repeat these daily quests each 3 times for a total of 30. Combine this with tip number 3 for massive experience gains every night while you sleep. I prefer to select the dark steel daily missions. The best part of waking up is an extra 36,000 dark steel in your cup. You are limited to 30 daily missions a day, so you can only do this once each reset. Number 5. Don't start combining items unless you no longer need them for your codex. The codex will grant you permanent buffs instead of a 10% chance at extra power. Once an item is no longer needed for the codex, it's a good time to begin combining them to get a better item, or at least one you can use to put in your codex. Number 6. There's a combo setting in options that you can enable if you want to see how many attacks you've done in a row. Every 100 attacks increases your total damage output by 1%. This maxes out at 5% after 500 stacks, so if someone has their combo charged up, they'll have a significant advantage over an otherwise equal opponent who is just entering battle. Number 7. Farm monsters that are 15 to 20 levels below you while you're AFK. As long as you are within 20 levels of the monsters you're fighting, you'll gain the full effect from your vigor bonus, but you will kill lower level monsters much faster. This won't require many potions, and you'll get the last hit on enemies most often if the area is crowded, so you'll gain more experience, copper, and drops if you're stronger than the other players around you. Number 8. Use the map to get around. When you use a teleport scroll, you're only able to select the places you traveled to most recently. If you click on the area name in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice that the map allows you to select anywhere you want to go. You can use this guide on your right to find the best areas to mine, gather, or hunt by level. Once you start to auto path to that area, you'll be able to fast travel there with the teleport scroll quickly. The map will have an icon of a question mark for a quest item, speech bubble for an available request, and compass for a mystery request. Not all quests will show on the map, but some will, so make sure to look out for the compass and question marks when doing requests and solving mysteries. Number 10. Before crafting rare gear, check what gear drops from raids and boss raids for the first clear. This way you can craft a gear for a different slot or use it to upgrade that gear to the next tier. If you accidentally craft the alternate version by mistake, it will set you back a ton of time, dark steel, and resources. No bonus tip this time around, however, if you subscribe to the channel, you will be sure to receive many bonus tips in the future. If you have a tip of your own, don't be shy and share it with the world in the comments or your own videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.